love the sea. I know, love the traffic. It's just dreadful. Go inside, my love. There you go. That's it. Yes. Oh, I hope you don't mind me parking my new bottle green automatic Jaguar XJ6 outside. Only Humphrey gave it to me for my birthday. <laughs> You're still having birthdays, are you, dear? Oh, well, there you go. Um, George, it's my sister, Ethel. Yeah, I could hear a credit card rattling. <laughs> to what do we owe this unexpected pleasure? It is not unexpected, George. No, it's not a pleasure either. <laughs> I can't stop. I just popped in to have a chat about Mother. Well, not at all in England and blinking Mother and all come. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. On Saturday, I'm selling flags for the pig ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, George isn't too keen on having Mother stay with us for the week. Oh, he's hiding it well. <laughs> I must say, Humphrey gets on with her all right. Yes, well, I mean, he's more used to older women, isn't he, dear? Uh, uh, Sherry? Oh, have you got some of that Sherry you served the last time? Yes. No, thank you. <laughs> now, about Mother, she is not getting any younger. No, oh, well, dear, none of us are. Apart from you, of course. <laughs> what I mean to say is, she's living in the past, just a little. Every time the planes fly over from Heathrow, she can't understand why the ACAC guns aren't firing at them. <laughs> I think most of us feel that way, dear. And Hilda, Hilda yeah. for a week yeah. last year, she says she's getting very forgetful. Oh, Hilda can talk. Five kids, she's supposed to be on the pill. Five and a half, the chemist was shut again. Oh, no. <laughs> Just drop in and mention it. Yeah, and show us your bottle green automatic XJ, what's name? Oh, George. Well, it's a wonder she didn't bring it in with her. It's perfectly all right, Mildred. Mother was right, you should never have married him. She, but, but your mother was against you and me getting married? Well, yes. God, how I've wronged that woman. <laughs> Pam, I want a word with you. I have just found a sticky toffee apple in the glove compartment. Oh, well, don't eat it now. You'll spoil your dinner. Where is Tristram? Well, why blame him? It could be that Mr Michael's down at your garage. Well, I've never seen him eating toffee apples. Well, he probably sees you coming and then hides them in the glove compartment. Right. Where is he? Oh, just a minute, Geoffrey. Uh, listen, he's a bit upset. He, uh... Well, he got a black eye at school today. He got a... a black eye? In school? You mean he's been fighting? My lad. <laughs> uh, did he uh, put up a good show, you know, win, that sort of thing? No, he lost. And you know I disapprove of fighting. Who was it? He wouldn't say. Right. <laughs> uh, hello there, soldier. All right. I've got a black eye. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> look, uh, I don't want you to feel you've let me down at all by not winning, because uh, I imagine your opponent was what, twice your size? No, smaller. <laughs> Probably a council child, wiry and cunning. They develop their reflexes through doing paper rounds. Oh. It was Leslie Wilkinson. Little Leslie. All right, Anne. Tell you what we do, soldier. First thing Monday, your mother will go out and buy a pair of boxing gloves. <laughs> Yes. No, no. I'll do some boxing lessons and you can do it. You said I shouldn't hit girls. Girls? <laughs> oh, Mother. Oh, oh, it's been ages. Well, you're looking very well, Ethel. Uh, Mildred, dear. Yes. yes. <laughs> now, where are the children? Bring them to, in to see Granny. Uh, you're thinking of Hilda, Mother. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, go on. In you go. Oh. There you are. Go on. <laughs> oh, yes. There we oh. are. Uh, now, oh, mind the stairs, dear. That's right. <laughs> oh, we have been looking forward to this visit. Uh, George. Uh, uh, George wants to say something to your Mother, don't you, George? Yeah. yeah. Welcome, mother-in-law. We hope your stay with us will be a, will be a pleasant one. Yeah, be a pleasant one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Humphrey. Hey, <laughs> uh, George. Yes. 
Uh, uh, George, uh, go and um, get Mar Mars bag from, from the taxi, will you, and pay him. Oh, cool. You sit no, down, dear. Yeah, that's... Bag for another bag. There we are. Cool. You were lucky getting a taxi from the station. Oh, I didn't, dear. I got one from Dagenham. I can't afford the train. But it's ever so much more expensive by taxi. Yes, but Humphrey's paying for it. <laughs> oh, you've got a Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on then, love. It's truffles, look. Here. Yes. Mildred's got one of them. Yes, dear. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, well, this is nice, Mother. Yes. Yeah. How are you keeping? Oh, very well. I've not had a day's illness since that new woman doctor came. Oh, yeah. Oh, is she good? Oh, no. I just don't like her. <laughs> she hasn't got a man's hands. <laughs> oh, blonde. Uh, do you know how much he wanted? Nearly six quid. And he expected a tip. Yeah, look at that. 5p change. Oh, thank you, George. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it, George. At least she got the name right. <laughs> ah, right, Chester, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Lesson one, lead with your left. <laughs> like this. Right, now hit me on the chin. I can't reach it. Oh, no. Um, well, uh, <clears throat> how about this? Oh, you better take your glasses off. Then I won't be able to see. Ah, no. Uh, well, um, I'll take my glasses off as well. Neither of us will be able to see. That's fair. <laughs> Anne? <clears throat> Anne? Yes? Uh, could you take our glasses off before we start, please? Oh, I bet Ali and Foreman never had this trouble. <laughs> <sighs> right. Are you taking his glasses off? Yes. Good, good. Where are you? <laughs> ah. <clears throat> right, you ready? I think so. Well, no, you're not, Sonny, you see, because your guard's open. Look, you see? You see? You see? Oh, See? I can't uh, stand it. Uh, oh, get that for me, Geoffrey. I've got a pan on. Yeah. Oh, Anne, but... Uh, oh, uh, can you see my glasses? No, of course you can't. Uh, keep your guard up. It is up. Is it? Well, uh, keep it up. <laughs> yes, 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 I'm trying to open the... Uh, ah. uh, who is it? Oh, it's me, Mr Formile. Oh, Mrs. Roper. Uh, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, well, I was uh, wondering if you could possibly fill this for me. Well, I might be able to. What is it? Uh, well, it's a peppermint. Oh. I've run out of peppercorns, you see, and I thought I'd... Ah. Uh, I haven't called it a bad moment, have I? I mean, you're, you're not having a disagreement with Anne. What? Oh, no, no, no. no. Um, uh, she's in the kitchen. Do come in. Oh, sure. Thank you. I'll, I'll close the door. There we are. I'm knitting this for Hilda. It never fit her. For the baby. She's expecting her then. Oh, yeah. Gets pregnant if she shares her husband's bath water, she does. <laughs> oh, they're lovely kiddies. Got five, she has. Haven't you ever wanted one, George? Why? She giving them away? <laughs> I'd like another grandson before I go. Oh, it's a bit short notice. You're only here for a week. <laughs> Someone to carry on the family name. I suppose only Arthur can do that. Arthur? Who's Arthur? My eldest. Oh, you've never met him, have you? He's in New Zealand. Oh, yeah, well, that's probably why. <laughs> Immigrated. He's still the bachelor gay, of course. Oh, well, so much for the family name. Oh, here we are, then. Dinner's nearly ready, Mother. I've made you some nice steamed fish in milk. Oh, I'd rather have a lamb chop. They smell nice. Oh, well, you can have mine. Oh, good thinking, Mildred. And I'll have yours. You can have the fish. Oh. <laughs> Next, you'll be giving her a brown ale. Oh, thank you, George. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he kind? Oh, blimey. It's going to be a hell of a week, this is. Ah, oh, breakfast. That looks good. That's Mother's, George. And I expect you like the paper, too. Cool. That's typical, isn't it? For the past week, I've come second in this household. Third, George. You're forgetting the dog. Wait, you're on her hand and foot. If she had an itchy nose, you sneeze for her. Well, she needs looking after. Well, so do I. Well, you're not an old lady, George. You're a bit of an old woman, but you're not an old lady. <laughs> now, when we see the back of her... Well, don't hold your breath while you're waiting, George. What? Because I am seriously thinking of having my mother stay with us permanently.
Now, look here, Mildred. Your mother is not living with us. Oh, don't get yourself in a state, George. I mean, I know there are drawbacks, but there are advantages, too. If she stays, I go. Yes, that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her own home in, in, in what's name? Dagnum. If it's good enough for the girl, Pipers, it's good enough for her. But George, she's all alone there. I mean, how would you like to be all alone in your old age? As a matter of fact, that's one of my ambitions. <laughs> I see. You know, George, sometimes you can say the most hurtful things. Yeah, well, no, don't turn on the waterworks. Well, we used to be happy once, George, you and I. Sometimes. I mean, what happened to us? Oh, we got married, Mildred. <laughs> yes, but people who get married don't have to hate each other. Well, we don't hate each other. You speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't misunderstand me, dearest. I mean, I've got a lot of affection and respect for your mother. I just don't see why we should be lumbered with the old boot. <laughs> why can't one of the others look after her? Because Hilda is expecting. Yeah, so's Ethel, expecting us to lumber ourselves. Look, your mother is nothing but an old, old... Isn't lunch ready yet? <laughs> Gannet, that's the word I was searching for. <laughs> George! Gannet? What's he mean? Gannet? Oh, well, it, it's a sort of raincoat, Mother. You see, uh, uh, George was thinking of buying one. Uh, there's some tea in the pot if you'd like a cup. Oh, thank you very much. There you are, dear. Ooh. You! I am your husband, Mildred. I do have certain rights. But it's months since you... Other were... rights, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Privacy in my own home. I mean, she, she, she's not just our responsibility. Well, no. I gave you my advice what to do with her at the beginning of the week. I am not having her put down. <laughs> That's it, soldier. Keep them coming. Now, don't worry about the fact you're not getting through. It's just I'm rather good at it. And don't forget to use your feet. You mean I can kick you? No, 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 no. <laughs> Footwork. That's it. In my case, knee work. Try and catch me with a guard down. I'd rather learn Kung Fu. We are not having any of that foreign rubbish in this house. You learn a good British straight left, you won't have to worry about being bullied at school. No, you can be bullied at home instead. <coughs> End of round 37. <laughs> he's, uh, he's getting rather good at it, Anne. It is Anne, isn't it? Yes. Actually, you look more attractive without your glasses on. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> well, it was really good hard right. Any more of that, no will. Well, I wasn't actually talking to you. I... Oof! <laughs> Now, sit yourselves down. Ethel over there, dear. And Humphrey over there. That's it. By the lamp. <laughs> uh, George? What? Oh, yeah. Right, uh, anyone care for Sherry? No. No. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> is uh, Hilda coming to this... Uh... Family conference. Yes, dear, she is, yes. What about fertile Fred? Yes, well, her husband will be here too, I think, yes. Uh, George? What? George? Oh, all right, all right. Oh, it's all been such a rush, Mildred. When you rang, I hadn't even got my face on. Oh, you should have said, dear. We could have made it next week. <laughs> well, I've told you what I think you should do with your mother. Humphrey. Quite right, Ethel. I think we should wait till Hilda gets here before we start any conference. Oh, she's oh, here. She is. Oh, hello, oh, How oh, are you? Oh. Little thing. <laughs> oh, there we oh, look at that. Oh, Looks like the opening scene from Macbeth, doesn't it? <laughs> hey. All they need is a bubbling cauldron. What was that, Humphrey? Eh? Oh, no, I was just saying, Dad, it's, it's, uh, it's been a long time since we had a family get-together like this, hasn't it, George? Hey? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a good night, though, wasn't it? Yeah, drinking a bit of a knees up. Oh, <laughs> God, yeah. You know, that's the only time I've ever seen your mother have a really good laugh. <laughs> yeah, when was that? My father's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> not with you, dear. No, he's not. He's a bit tired. Oh, that's understandable. <laughs> he sends his love. Yes, we can see he does. <laughs> um, well, now that we're all here, now, I want to talk about my... Isn't he because... oh, ready yes. yet? <laughs> oh, what a surprise. <laughs> oh, Ethel, Hilda, Mildred, Frederick and George. Yeah, well, I live here. <laughs> Have you all come to see me? Yes, Mother, now, isn't that Aww. nice? And now that they have all seen you, George is going to take you down the pub for a little drink. Am I? Is he? 
<laughs> you can't blame him, Geoffrey. You did ask him to try and hit you. Not when I wasn't looking. Um, how is it? Ooh. Well, it's, um... Oh, you look like half a panda. <laughs> oh, so nice to see all the family together again. Is Arthur coming? Who? Oh, oh, no, not all the way from Newfoundland. New Zealand? Yeah, well, it's the same place. No, no, there's a bus strike on seat. <clears throat> oh. Right, well, sit down, what are you drinking? You hear the comments now. You know what people are think, don't you? No. Oh, hell, oh, evening, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. She's been bashing you about, has she? <laughs> That's what people will think. Oh, uh, clocked in with a rolling pin, did you? Well, night out with the lads. Mr. Roper. <laughs> it's all right. No, I mean, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, we all have our little tiffs. I should, uh, I should tell people that lad of yours did it. He did. Ah, yeah, that's the way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take her. Oh, I can see your point about leaving her on her own, but, well, there's not a lot of space in our house. I mean, Frederick needs a room of his own. He's left it a bit late for that, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> to study. He wants to be a producer. Looks like he's doing all right, is it? <laughs> Free. Now, I, too, would be only too happy to have Mother come and live with us. But... But the one spare room we have, we've had plans drawn up to turn it into a... Billiard room. A sauna bath. Come, sauna billiard bath. room. <laughs> well, what about you? George says he's going to leave if Mother comes here. Oh, good, then. You'll have plenty of room. All oh, that is typical oh, of you, isn't on, it? Oh, come on, come on, come Now, look here, let's be reasonable about this. Now, why don't we put her into the bide-a-wee home for retired gentlefolk? I mean, the walls must be ten feet high. She'd never get out. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't push her into a home. You're trying to push her into mine. Oh, look, you've got this great big house, a great big swimming pool. Yeah, I wouldn't mind pushing her into that. <laughs> this is our mother we're talking about. She's given us the best years of her life. I mean, here we all are, trying to palm her off onto someone else. Well, I don't know how you feel about it, but I feel ashamed. So you'll take her? No, I won't. You take her. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is a bundle of fun, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want a game of football? We haven't got a ball. No, no, on the machine. Yeah, I'll oh, forget it. Do you fancy a packet of crisps? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, well, get me one while you're up there. <laughs> My legs aren't what they were, you know. I'm not long for this world. Oh, we've got time to get a packet of crisps, haven't you? <laughs> I've had a good life, though. Seen all my daughters happily married, apart from Mildred, of course. Hey? <laughs> think the world of me, they do. Oh, do they? Mm. They're having a barney at this moment about which one of them gets stuck with you. Oh? Well, I mean, you're getting a bit past it, aren't you? I mean, look at last Tuesday when you couldn't get out the bath and I had to help you. I did not enjoy that. <laughs> It didn't do very much for me, either. <laughs> As for getting stuck with me, they needn't bother. I'm going to a far better place. Yes, but that might not be for years. New Zealand. Oh, I'll see you. Where? My eldest, Arthur. Now, where's that last letter of his? There. There. He's asked me to go and live with him. And he sent me the tickets, and I've accepted. Well, well, why didn't you mention it? Well, I thought the girls would be so upset. Upset? Mm. They'd be thrilled to bits. Well, and upset as well, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have my own room, and he says I can help him brand the sheep. When? Whenever they need branding. <laughs> no, no, no. When are you going? Oh, on the 15th. 15th? Well, that's only a couple of days. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's go back and break the good news. Well, yeah, I mean, prepare them for the sad parting. I haven't finished my drink. Oh, all right. Uh, hey, son, uh, keep an eye on the old lady, will you? What? Uh, the good eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've just got to pop back and... Uh, oh, uh, this is... Uh, this is Geoffrey... What's his name? Uh, he's a friend of mine. Oh, yeah, here, get you a packet of crisps. <laughs> uh, hello. You ought to learn to defend yourself, young man. 
Why don't you take up boxing? <laughs> we could draw straws. I saw it in a film once. Somebody had to jump out of the lifeboat. Aye? Kirk Douglas drew the short straw. Oh, well, that settles it. She can go and live with him. Oh, no. <laughs> that is just like you, isn't what it? What are you talking are about? You now, look here. We do more than a lot of people do for your mother. We send you a birthday card. Please, please. That, that's better. Perhaps I could put in a word. Thank you. No, I've listened more in sorrow than in anger <laughs> to this sad, sad spectacle of a family divided against itself. Oh, God, he's drunk. <laughs> I am not drunk. I am sick. Sick at heart to think that you, all of you, could turn away this poor old lady in the twilight of her years. But... Uh, please. There is more to life than material possessions, such as swimming pools and kids. There is charity and love and the pursuit of happiness. I hold these truths to be self-evident. <laughs> Never in the field of human endeavour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, what I'm saying is that I, I'm willing to welcome my mother-in-law to my humble home for as long as she wishes to stay. I'll go and get your coat. Stole. <laughs> Allow me. Yeah, oh. Here, George. Here. She hasn't got any money, you know. What care I for wealth? Oh. Yeah, I'll go and get the coat, then. George. George, I'm so proud of you. Yes, well, it might not be for long, Mildred. And uh, it was one in the eye for that lot, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well... Well done, George. Of course, I must say, you'd never have had this trouble in the first place if she'd gone to live with your Arthur in New Zealand. No, that's right, yeah. What was that, Mildred? Arthur. Oh, he sent her the tickets and everything. Oh, she was all set to go and then he died. <laughs> you know what? 1950, that was. Now, and do you know she's been carrying his letters around with her ever since? Poor old soul. Yes, it was. Oh, my God. <laughs>